Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Jason Turley and today we are looking at the Hack the Box 2023 Cyber Apocalypse Challenge. This is my write-up for the Persistence Challenge in the Miscellaneous category. You see it's worth 300 points and it's ranked Very Easy Difficulty. We can click on it and it'll pull up the challenge description. Thousands of years ago, sending a get request to slash flag would grant immense power and wisdom. Now it's broken and usually returns random data. But keep trying and you might get lucky. Legends say it works once every 1,000 tries. And then we can click this button to spawn the Docker container, the instance, the image, and we can just click on it and copy it to our clipboard. Moving over here, I already have a directory created. Let me zoom in a little bit. We see that it's empty. I can use netcat to connect to that IP and port. However, we do not want this semicolon. Instead, we want a space delimiter. Hit enter. And then it looks like it just hangs. It's waiting for us to send a get request, which is an HTTP method. So we can just say get slash flag. Oh, I have to hit enter one more time. And then we get this random junk, this random data. Hit the up arrow to rerun this. Do get flag again. Hit enter twice and more random data. So the challenge description tells us hey, one in every 1,000 tries, you'll probably get the flag. So we can just keep doing this manually, which could take forever, or we can build this out into a script. So let's start doing that now. Instead of typing in get slash flag, we can do echo with tech E and get slash flag. And then we want the two new lines, also known as a carriage return. That's what the slash E is for, to escape those characters. So if I hit enter, you see get flag is printed along with a few new lines, and then we can pipe that into this netcat call, and it prints out random data. That's awesome, but let's add this to a file. Let's add this to a script. So I'm just gonna highlight this and copy it. I'm gonna open up something just called a get flag.sh. Let's add the shebang line. Bin bash is the interpreter. That's the show we're using. Let's do a while loop. So while true, we want to do something. Do paste this in. And we could end it there. But this will print out everything. This will print out all the random um, data as well. All we want is the flag. So let's pipe that into grep for grep hack the box. It was all flags start with HTB hack the box. We can save this. And if we wanna make this a little bit more, bit of a better script, we can check the exit status. We can check the return code. So if I open up a new pane in tmux, and I just grab this line here, and copy it. All right, there was no flag there. And if I do echo, dollar sign question mark that returns the status the exit code the return code or whatever you want to call it of one a successful return code will equal zero so we can add that here we can say let's make this bigger if dollar sign question mark is equal to zero then break exit the program stop running you're done fi to close that out Let's save and quit with colon X. Now if we do LS, LS type L, we see the permissions. Let's make it executable. Now we can run it. And that's running. That'll take a while. It'll only print the flag. It won't print any of the random junk, any of the data. And we added that check at the end. So it'll break, it'll exit as soon as it finds the flag, it won't continue to make requests endlessly, right? Two hours later. And there we go, the flag, after not too long, finally returns, hack the box, you have powerful scripting abilities. So you can copy, paste this, and submit it here in the answer flag, the prompt, but I've already done that. So there you have it, folks. That's how I solved this challenge. It was pretty fun. A nice quick way to do bash scripting let me know in the comments below how you guys solve this if you found a better way or maybe use python or some other type of scripting language as always
take it easy and see you guys in the next video.